Hello. What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Strength Classroom. Today, I'm showing you a max effort or heavy effort uh, upper body day. I hope you like this new stuff I'm doing with the vlogs for workouts. Just adding a little, you know, a little detail, a little blurb in the corner to explain something that I might not talk about. So here I'm doing high incline just like last week, same uh, grip width, but I added some red bands to it. And instead of just doing straight sets, I did two cluster sets. So three, two, 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 that's nine reps all together. Last week I did nine reps all together, three sets of three. This week I did nine reps per set, but it's higher intensity at the top of the movement due to band. So a little bit more tricep in there. Then I did some heavy rows in between my back down sets, which you're just about to see. Uh, I did 135, let's just call it 135 pounds, uh, two sets of 15, dead stop off the floor, which allows me to lengthen out my shoulder and really get a good retraction on the way back. I'm not using too much body English, it's mainly just my back. And then I did two down sets. Last week I did two sets of 10, with 185 pounds this week i have the bands on so i did a set of seven rested for just a little bit it was about 30 to 45 seconds and then banged out a set of five so i'm increasing the volume keeping the intensity the same but the amount of sets are not really there sorry i'm increasing the repetitions then the jm press a very important thing to take into account when you're doing jm presses is to not let your elbows drop as much you don't want it to be like a strict extension where your humerus or upper arm bone remains like parallel to the floor but you don't want to turn it into like a close grip bench press so i feel like i'm doing a very good job of that i look juicy then kettlebell lou raises i had to do these just because i don't really have dumbbells on my adjustable ones i just didn't feel like adjusting them that's closer to the truth and I believe these are 18s or 13s, I can't remember. I'm doing sets of 20 here. It feels unique as you can see the way the weight is like situated in my hand. Uh, I feel it more at the bottom than I do with just traditional dumbbells, which has to do with the way the weight is distributed. This is great for shoulder mobility, great for the upper back, great for the traps, great for the delts. It's just a great exercise all in all. Then I went with some belt squat rows. This was all done as a giant set. I definitely could have gone heavier on these. This was just a pump up exercise. This was not a big mass builder. This was just to get some blood in the upper back. Sets of 25 with 90 pounds. I honestly probably could have done 180 pounds. Next time I do these as part of a giant set, I will definitely be going heavier with the weight. This is a great exercise if you have access to a belt squat or like a T-bar row attachment or anything like that. And then the last part of the giant set, uh, we have neck extensions with 63 pound kettlebell. And as you see here in the little blurb, my goal is to be able to do these with about 100 pounds. So the closest I could get is 97 pounds with a kettlebell and do them for even just one set of 15. So far, I'm kind of well on my way there. I did four easy sets of 25 with 63 pounds. And uh, yeah, that's just my goal for that right there. If you like the new blurbs, let me know and uh, take care.